Hi Internet, here's a quick SOLIDWORKS demonstration where I'm going to be modeling uh, some components for an articulating eye for a life-size animatronic head. Now these parts are going to be relatively unsophisticated parts. It's uh, what I'm doing here is modeling what um, uh, something that's going to be used as a proof of concept. It's not going to be a finished model as much as it's going to be uh, a model that uh, will be used for the purposes of discussion. So I'm not being too particular on uh, you know how I'm going about making this. Um, although I'm you know here I am trying to fully define sketches, use some best practices anyway an extrude cut to cut that out and there I have a yoke and uh, my universal just pulled a plane off there which I'm going to add a sketch and an extrude and that'll become a post there so that makes up the universal joint part of my eye for its articulation in two axes now I've just done a revolve and that's going to make up the body of the eye uh, an extrude cut to just lop off a portion of the back and everything here is really just more or less done by eye. It's just a, a, a feel kind of uh, procedure where I kind of have an idea of what I want to create and I'm not worrying too much about some of the things I'll worry about later if this goes into production. So here I am just drawing a little shape here. This will become a revolve cut that will core out the uh, inside. Uh, using that type of move instead of a shell feature because I don't want any undercuts here. I'm keeping in mind that uh, this piece is going to be moldable and if um, later on we decide to do an injection mold of this I want to be able to add draft angles and you know everything appropriate to make it uh, injection moldable. You know, uh, Just be mindful of the wall thicknesses and those sorts of things. But for now, I think it'll probably be a room temperature casting type part uh, uh, based on the quantities we're talking about. So it's still nice to make sure that the mold isn't going to hang up on any of these parts and uh, it'll come out nicely. So here I am just do cutting away some more bits to uh, capture the top of the post. That little boss will be mirrored across the plane to make up the other side. And I got an idea here just to make a slight adjustment that way I can uh, slam a piece in behind that and capture that part. Now I'm going to just do a little quick sketch here, undefined sketch that uh, will become a revolve uh, cut and that will make up the pupil and the iris. And finally, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm going to add a little shell. Um, this is going to act as a, uh, as a coding. It's um, I'm modeling this for more or less for the rendering purposes. The idea here being that um, this could be an epoxy finish or a clear cast uh, over top of the part. Uh, not really realistic because it um, the undercut there it would hang up on this part. So it really the intent here would be this would be a, a type of material applied to the eye afterwards. Um, however, we could probably look at a parting line there and make it a moldable piece as well. Now I'm just going through and uh, making sure that each of these pieces uh, is its own individual body because I'm going to start saving these parts out and uh, that way I'll be able to bring them in together into an assembly. So um, here's the first part here and I'm going to just keep uh, adding parts and mating them to one another. Here I'll just select the right plane and make a mate with that and then a concentric mate with those round bits and do the same thing. Pick uh, the appropriate uh, planes to mate and then uh, I'll do concentric mates so that I could have that uh, little bit of freedom, that motion there. I'm not going to restrain anything with um, angle limits or anything like that, I will uh, let them sort of just kind of crash into one another. 
be careful of just how I move it so that it doesn't uh, interfere. There, I've just added that uh, clear part. And uh, I'm going to do a quick little render here. And um, we can see this uh, more A pattern that's uh, happened on that surface there. That's because my two pieces are um, sharing the same plane or the same surface, the same face. I guess, and so I'm going to just add a little offset here. This will add a small gap, which will just allow this part to render a bit uh, nicer. So it already looks a little bit better here, and uh, when I go to render it, it's going to look a little bit more like I was hoping. So there's the eye there. I'll just save a little snapshot of that, and um, I'm going to rotate it around and try another rendering. Uh, the render settings aren't uh, very sophisticated, and uh, I've just used, I'm just using uh, default lighting and uh, default studio setup here. So uh, the, most of the time, it does an adequate job. But uh, in order to do a you know a proper rendering, uh, more care would be taken to set it up and make sure it comes out okay. So um, those are the parts, and this is the bulk of the eye.